I just filmed the tutorial for this look and it is already up. It went up on Wednesday and now it's time for me to show you my favourite drugstore setting powders. I pretty much have them all in a wee drawer here beside me because um, I just like to have them up close at hand. Now I actually didn't even own that many setting powders up until recently from the drugstore. I mean it was mainly MAC and stuff like that that I used. But I've kind of gone a bit mental lately buying drugstore setting powders because I started finding a couple of them that were really good and then I was like, well, if these ones are good, there has to be more out there. And yeah, I found, oops, I'm causing havoc here. I found a good few now that I'm really impressed with. So I'll start off with what I'm wearing today. Um, this is one of my newest ones and it's the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Powder. So this is a instant retouch press powder and it says totally translucent, almost weightless weightless um use as a primer under makeup or wear it alone for a natural translucent finish so that's actually kind of interesting to say use it as a primer under makeup yeah that's really interesting especially considering that wayne goss video that was out recently where he suggested wearing um powder underneath makeup that only suits the oiliest of the oily though. I've tried it and some of my colleagues have tried it and anyone who is anywhere kind of on the normal to dry side just won't suit. But it's a lovely setting powder and I love that it's at that golden tone, that kind of yellow cool tone. Um, especially when I wear a more neutral foundation, it helps to bring it back more in tone with my own colouring. So this is lovely. It did say instant retouch on there and a wee star, so it looked very cool. But um, yeah, I'm really liking that. I can't remember the price, maybe around 10 or 11. Then I'll show you this guy here by Maybelline and it's their Fit Me powder. This is in the colour 115. Um, it's probably a little bit more like neutral. You can see there it looks very white, but it's ever so slightly pink, but it's so pale that it doesn't look pink on. And it does come with a wee sponge underneath. I rarely use these guys. It does have a mirror as well though, which is handy. Um, it's just a great setting powder, especially if, I have a pow if I'm wearing a foundation that's in any way a little bit too dark. This helps to pale it down a little bit, but it's basically translucent on me, like it doesn't really change anything too much. Um, it's quite a, just a lovely kind of lightweight powder. Um, it mattifies me quite well without it looking talky, like it's definitely not very, very talky, even though it does have talc in it. But you know what I mean, it's not like that really kind of powdery, um, how do I put it? It's just very smooth, like, which is good. And I'm a big fan of the Fit Me range in the favorite drugstore concealers and foundations videos, which I did um, like last week and the week before, which I'll link to below. I also featured the Fit Me foundations and concealer, which I love. And then this had to be included as well. So big fan of that. Then I'll have to show you this guy here, which is a bit of a cult favorite. And it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. This is on the cheaper side. I think it's around six euro. Um, actually, I could be making that up. I just have it in my head that it's cheaper, but I'm not 100% sure. This is 001 Transparent because I needed the palest color. Again, I like that it's more of a kind of a yellowy cool tone. Um, up to five hours natural shine control with natural minimal minerals. So talc is the first um, ingredient, but Mika is the second ingredient and that is a mineral. Um, Mika is actually the first ingredient in no, it's not. I'm making that up. Actually, I was thinking of something completely different. But anyhow, this, um, it is, it really does help to mattify you without it making you look very flat or cakey, which in the past, I used to always find that's what, like, drugstore setting powders used to do. So that's why I'm really impressed that these have just come a long way. Um, and this is just a really nice setting powder. I think Sharon Makeup Artist uses this as well. And yeah, it's just the Rimmel City Matte. So that's another one I'd recommend. This guy here by L'Oreal, which is their Nude Magic BB Powder. It's a Velvet Skin Beautifier, five in one. Um, bit of a mouthful, but it's lovely. Again, it has a mirror on the bottom. It did have a powder puff in here, but I just use my little, like, what you call these cotton discs, which I did a video on, and throw that one away because it's been used. But that's what I'll use for um, touching up. This has a real silky, silky velvet feel to it, which I love. Um, again, another lovely, really cool tone, or, well, slightly cool toned, really pale colour. Um, so again, the ones in the past I found weren't pale enough and it's just really in the last year or two that I've noticed them like being pale enough. And um, this is another really lovely one. So what this says is a velvet skin beautifier mimics the five dimensions of velvety smooth skin. So no shine, smooth resurfaced finish, undetectable coverage, fresh look and eight hour matte complexion. So there you go. And this is in the light skin tone. I think there's a medium and a dark skin tone as well. I have the Nude Magic um, 
this guy here, the foundation, which I'm a big fan of as well, but this isn't quite pale enough um, for me yet. No. Yeah, I, as in during the summer, if I have a bit of a tan, I can wear it, but it's a little bit dark for me at the moment. But this definitely is light enough, so this is lovely. I've heard good things about their primers as well, so I'm definitely interested in trying those out. And I only have two powders left to show you. So the first one is the Vichy Derma Blend. This is uh, supposed to be used, in, you know, along with the Derma Blend foundations because it helps make it waterproof and all that kind of jazz. But you can use it with any foundation. I know the girls from Viva Donis, particularly Sinead, um yeah, Sinead, I think, are big fans of this. It's a totally translucent powder, so it looks white, but it doesn't make you white. You just have to make sure you don't go overboard, like, lobbing it on. And it really does extend the wear of any foundation, I have to say. It's a brilliant, brilliant powder foundation. Of course, it being loose means that it's not the most bag-friendly one in the world. But, to be honest, if I pop this on before I go out, I really don't need to touch up my foundation much. And then if I was going uh, like around out and about for the day, I'd use this to set my foundation and then touch up with something like this. But um, just a really brilliant, a really brilliant um, powder. And I find that it photographs really well. It doesn't like have that weird white flashback that you'll get with a lot of the HD powders. Um, what else does it say? Withstands perspiration, bathing and rubbing, hyperallergenic. But I think that's mainly when it's used with the Derma Blend. But that's another brilliant one. And then the final one for today is the Bourjois Healthy Balance Unifying Powder. This is a 10 hour wear one. Um, it's number 52 vanilla is the lightest colour we have here in Ireland. I think, I'm not sure if they do a 51. I'm number 51 in the foundation. And the 52 is, I'd say about half a shade too dark. But um, it's just such a velvety, like silky smooth powder. I'm absolutely in love with it. Uh, texture, ultra fine, um, matte finish. Melting texture, boosts, it boosts radiance, and it contains Asian fruit therapy. So Sharon fruit for hy is hydrating, and Yuzi fruit, Yuzi Yuzu fruit, uh, anti shine. Basically, anyhow, it contains good stuff for for you. Um, it is very similar to the Mac Studio Care Blend powders. I think is what they are, or even like the Mac Mineralize. But the only difference is, like, I think the Care Blend and Mineralize are Mineralize are very similar. Anyhow. The only difference is that the mineralized powders has those mineral particles that give it a bit of a sheen. So this is very like those but without any sheen. And I have every colour of this for my kit because I just love it. And I think it makes any face look beautiful and it doesn't dry out the skin at all. Um, yeah, it's just a really lovely... And it does contain water so um, I don't know does it contain oils. But um, it's just a lovely non-drying powder anyhow and I'm a big, big fan of this and um, happily use it on clients. And I totally nearly forgot to add this guy and it's the one that lives on my... Oh, let me turn on the light. There we go, that's better. And it's the one that lives on my desk like every day constantly and it's the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. This is a waterproof one. So impressed by this. Again, it's just a really light lightweight powder and um, it does claim to be waterproof and I don't know that because I haven't like been out in the rain much um, with you know full face makeup on so I haven't noticed but basically what it says is silky waterproof powder for long lasting mattifying finish and flawless complexion resists humidity first fits every skin tone with soft focused effects effects vitamin A and E this one's translucent I think they're all translucent I'm not sure how well it would translate onto a very dark skin tone by any means because um, it does like deposit a bit of colour but I love it for my own pale skin tone and it's very inexpensive like three or f maybe four or five euro and um, it contains cornstarch which is a very good ingredient well it's really good at mattifying and um, like staying on the skin and it contains dimethicone as well which is a silicone which is probably why it's so silky smooth um, yeah so that's another brilliant one to try, try out if you can get your hands on Catrice makeup so they are my favourite drugstore powders of the moment. Um, I may do primers next because I know people were asking about those even though I don't have like a million drugstore primers. I have, well I have a few so I can show you the few that I do have anyhow. But as usual I hope this is helpful. There will be a big list, a big list, a full list of products down below and in the blog, on the blog. And um, I better go before I say anything else stupid so I'll chat to you all really soon. Slong guys.